So it was officially announced earlier on today that Steven Gerrard is going to be the new manager of Aston Villa in the Premier League. From what I've seen online, there's very mixed reviews from this from Rangers fans. I think some are obviously very upset he's gone. Others are, I think, trying to pretend they're not upset that he's gone. But I think in general, Aston Villa fans seem pretty happy from what I've seen so far. Anyway, today we're going to put it to the absolute test because I'm going to move Steven Gerrard from Rangers to Aston Villa in FM22 and see what happens. Very, very scientific experiment, I know. I don't think anything could be more accurate than this. So here he is in-game, as you can see. Uh, we've just moved him over from Rangers and he has got some pretty decent attributes in-game. So I think... He should be pretty successful at Villa. Also, before we get started with the simulation, I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone so far who's been watching the content. Uh, FM22 has come out and it's been really, really good. You guys seem to really enjoy what I'm putting out there. So, to continue that, would massively appreciate it if you guys could drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're around here. I mean, I can't quite wear an Aston Villa shirt for this one. I've got a Trabzon Sport top on, which is similar colours, but the effort was there at least. And of course, let me know down in the comment section below if you think Steven Gerrard is going to be a success at Aston Villa and who's going to replace him at Rangers. My voice broke then, that's annoying. So to start things off, we'll just go one season into the future and see how Steven has done in his first season where Aston Villa have come eighth, just missing out on European football. You know what? I think Villa fans would take that. The table actually does look pretty similar to what I kind of expect it to look in real life, actually. Although Newcastle may be a little bit further down with all their money, but I guess that doesn't really come into play until January in real life. So maybe 13th is quite accurate. Anyway, let's click on to Villa. And, um... Well, Steven's not the manager anymore. Gattuso is. He was the Napoli manager. He's now... Okay. Oh... <laughs> So Stephen hasn't got them to eighth. He's been sacked within a season. Uh, when was he sacked then? I presume he was sacked. Managers, uh, Stephen Gerrard, he left the role. So he wasn't sacked. After 231 days, he left. So where where did he go? Liverpool. Hall. Okay. Now this was not expected. Within less than a season... He's left Villa to go to Liverpool. So what happened to Jurgen Klopp then? Because this is interesting. Liverpool history managers. Jurgen Klopp got sacked. He was sacked on the 15th of March. What? Okay. Oh. But they came third in the league. Like not that far off. I mean, maybe quite far off a title actually, to be fair. 11 points off a title. Right. Let's have a look at past positions. Let's look at Liverpool. And, I mean, this dip here could be March. That's March the 5th, March the 12th, March... Yeah, so he got sacked here then after a 1-0 win against Everton. He got sacked, interestingly. So Liverpool at one point were top of the league in in December, mid-December. Then they stay second for a while. Then they lose a game to drop to 5th. Then another one to drop down to 7th. Win a game to go back to 5th, but that was not enough. Sacked. Wow. Poor Jürgen. And then, of course, Steven comes in to take them back into the Champions League places, finishing third. Although, given that they dropped, what, quite a few places in, like, two game weeks, it must have been pretty tight at the top at that point. Wow, okay. I feel that's very harsh on Jürgen. What we can do now, though, and I think this will be really interesting. A lot of people, particularly Liverpool fans, have said to me that before Steven Gerrard can be the Liverpool manager at some point in the future, they'd want to see him manage in the Premier League. Now, what I want to do is go back to the start of this, but don't move Steven Gerrard. Leave him at Rangers. We will simulate through to the 15th of March. I will sack Jurgen Klopp, and then I'll see if Gerrard gets the Liverpool job, because I think maybe moving him to Villa gave him the reputation he needed to then get the Liverpool job. I think if he stays at Rangers, he might not have the reputation there to be given the Liverpool job in March 2022. So bear with me. Let me do this. Okay, so completely new save file. We've got the English and the Scottish leagues loaded up. It's actually the 3rd of March, not quite the 15th, but still, uh, it's close enough for me. Let's go to Liverpool then, and let's sack Jurgen Klopp. But he's already been sacked. He's not the manager. What? Jurgen, how are you doing this? Managers... Jürgen Klopp was sacked in December. Why? Wow, okay. Well, look, currently the fifth in the table, actually, Liverpool. So that's probably why he's been sacked and a long, long way off the top. If we look at the uh, past positions for Liverpool, 
He was sacked when mid-December, which is around here, actually, where they dropped down. Yeah, they lost 2-0 to Brighton, dropped down to sixth in the table, and that was enough. He's gone. And so who's this new manager, Pepin? He is... Oh, a, he was a coach, but an assistant manager, took over the caretaker role, and they actually gave him the job of interim manager for the rest of the season. Because he's been there since, well... December, right? And it's now March. So I presume we've been given the job to the end of the season. Okay, well, we've not had to sack Jurgen Klopp. And I feel like maybe this is a bit unfair on Steven because they were just given the interim manager job to this guy as opposed to putting it out for tender. So I will sack this guy and uh, we'll go forward a month for the whole job process. And hopefully we'll see Steven Gerrard in the job. But this does suggest that maybe Rangers don't have the reputation needed for Gerrard to then go and get the Liverpool job, which I feel like I've made sound more complicated than it actually is. So uh, let's just move this guy to another club. Um, Malaga, let's do that. Go to Malaga, lad. Um, have a great time in the south of Spain. He's, has he gone? No, he's not gone. Hang on, move to other club. Click on Malaga, okay. Manager job, sack the old guy. Yeah, this guy is now at Malaga. So the Liverpool job is free. Will Steven get it? Okay, so we're now at the end of March and ideally, if we go to Liverpool, we'd see Steven Gerrard in charge. No, <laughs> it's Craig Shakespeare instead. Oh dear me. It's not quite working out, is it, for old uh, Steven Gerrard, is it? I mean, he's gone from assistant manager. Hang on, it says assistant manager. Oh, interim manager. Still interim. This is, ha. Huh. I don't know, this seems a bit strange to me. Either way, Steven Gerrard isn't being given the job. I think we've conclusively proved that he's not been given the job. How is he getting on at Rangers then? How is he? He's not getting on at Rangers because Frank Lampard's the manager. What? What is going on in this universe? So Frank Lampard is manager of Rangers who are top of the Scottish Premiership. They've, uh, by a long, long, long way, Celtic down in fourth. If you're a Rangers fan, you love to see it. So Frank Lampard, right. What's gone on with you, Frank? After leaving Chelsea, you're now at Rangers out of the blue. When did you become the Rangers manager? History... Let's look at managers. He became manager in January because Steven Gerrard left in January. He just left the role. Wasn't sacked. He left the So where's Steven then? Wolves. Of course he is. Obviously, he was always going to be at Wolverhampton Wanderers. So maybe then he didn't get the Liverpool job because the Wolves... No, did the Wolves job come up first? Hang on. History. Uh, look back to here. Gerrard. I need to click on... I need to go on to Wolves, don't I? History. Managers. He took the job on the 7th of the 1st. Ah, but that's after Jurgen Klopp, quite significantly, like a good three weeks or so after Jurgen Klopp was sacked. So maybe he did apply for it, but just didn't get it. Either way, this isn't fully scientific, but I do think this does demonstrate that at least in football manager terms, for Gerrard to get the Liverpool job, he has to go via another Premier League club first in Aston Villa. I mean, maybe it's too soon for him. He's only been there 83 days. He's not going to leave Wolverhampton Wanderers after 83 days to go to Liverpool. But I feel like we are getting ahead of ourselves a little bit. The whole point of this video is meant to be seeing what he did at Aston Villa. And it's, um, well, we've not really done much, have we, with Aston Villa? So let me jump back to where we were a few minutes ago when he left Villa to go to Liverpool. I do want to see what he did at Villa. I feel like we've got a big, big tangent there. So sorting it in reverse date order, uh, I think I think he brought Callum Chambers into Villa. I don't think that's a real transfer. If it is, I know nothing about football, clearly. But I'm pretty sure Matt Grimes was a, a transfer that he's done, which was also a part exchange for this guy, Ruben. I can't say a surname, but they've swapped over places. And they also brought Rob Dickey in in January as well whereas they got rid of a few players too, but none of them looking like proper first-teamers. So really on the transfer front, he's not done an awful lot, but I guess he wasn't really given the time to do an awful lot. But now he's at Liverpool, I want to simulate further to see how he does at Liverpool. Can he hold down this job? Because it seems like they just want to get rid of any manager who's not in the top five with them or the top four with them, because Jürgen's been gone twice now. Okay, so we're now in 2023. Another year in the future. This video is all over the place. It may be a little bit confusing, but uh, I'll try and edit it down in a very nice way for you all to understand. Liverpool. Right. They're third in the Premier League. With, 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 have I got the right save file here? Craig Shakespeare's still in charge. Have I just done the wrong thing? History. Managers. No, no, this is the right one. It is the, <laughs> it is the right one. Gerrard has been sacked from Liverpool. And then Craig Shakespeare... It's just always going to get Liverpool job, apparently. Two separate save files. He's become Liverpool manager. 
It's going to happen in real life. Liverpool fans, I'm sorry, but you've got to have Craig at some point in charge of you. So Gerard was sacked literally just under a year in the Liverpool role and he was sacked. Right. Premier League, they've come third under Craig Shakespeare, so that's a, a pretty decent recovery potentially. Uh, let's look at the season pass positions. Liverpool. Oh, this, this is harsh. I mean, he's been sacked in March, right? Mid-March when they are fifth in the table. I mean... I'm not quite sure what the board are expecting with a brand new manager and all that kind of stuff, but I feel like that is very harsh. I mean, if anything, you're going to sack him at this point when he was seventh. At this point, you've done pretty well to get them back up to fifth, and Craig Shakespeare, all he had to do was win a few games to get into the top four, and he's he's been all right. This ambulance going past my house, it, it's coming for Stephen. He's had a nightmare. Well, I feel like I've gone on quite a long time in that video, and I feel like we haven't really learned all that much about Stephen Gerrard at Aston Villa. Well, I think we've learnt is that football manager throws up some weird scenarios sometimes. I think one thing we have learnt though, which I think maybe is fairly telling, is that at least in game, the reputation of Rangers isn't enough to get the manager the job at Liverpool. But there were some weird circumstances along the way where interim managers got involved as well. I think this has actually been really interesting, more interesting than just seeing what Steven Gerrard did over five years at Aston Villa. I've enjoyed this a lot more than that scenario. Let me down in the comment section, did you find this interesting? Should we do this a little bit more often and just kind of hope that some weird and wonderful things happen like this. Anyway, uh, if you have enjoyed today's video, make sure you do drop a like on it for me and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Uh, leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm and I will see you next time. Have a good one. Goodbye.